Happy Wednesday, saints, and welcome, welcome to a Good Word Bible study. I'm Dr. Dainty Jones, and I serve as apostle of the house that Dignity Built Ministries. And so for today, if you have your Bibles with you, we are going to be um, hearing from Sister Kamisha Jones tonight. Uh, so you know, you know, she's this, one of the sisters who has a fire in her belly for the Lord. And she's going to teach us from Matthew 24, verses 15 through 28. That's Matthew 24, verses 15 through 28. And that's called the abomination of desolation. All right. And so she is going to pray for us. After that, I'll share our praise video for tonight. And then she will lead us in her great lesson. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we bless you on tonight, God. We thank you for this moment in time. God, we bless you for what you're doing in the lives of your people, God. Lord God, we ask that you oversee this lesson tonight, God, and let your word speak through me, God. Lord, let me decrease in my thoughts and my actions and let everything for you be exemplified. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless each and every one on this call tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so much for that prayer. And now I'll share our praise video for today. And the song is called Break Every Chain. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Jones. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 24, 15 through 28, and the word of God reads, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, 
spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso read it, let him understand. Then let him which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning mm -hmm. of the world to this yeah. time. Yeah. 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 No, nor ever yeah. shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if all shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show, you, show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the sun be son of man be. For whosoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. So in this lesson, in these scriptures, I got so much out of reading and studying this. God is so good. And just these verses are describing the end times. And basically, Jesus is giving a forewarning to his people. And if, if you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. We hear that said all the time. And so, um, it's leading up to Jesus' second coming, his second return. And as spoken of in the prophecies of, in the book of Daniel, um, during the time, this will be a time of distress and, and desecration. And so basically after the, the temple is destroyed, Jerusalem's been destroyed, then you'll see this, this tribulation period, this horrible time for mankind. But um, during the time, during that time, the warning of Jesus to the people should let them know that even during this time, they're, they're not without hope that God is still going to present himself. And that he's going to, for his elect people, for the sake of them, he's going to shorten the, the time that we go through this tribulation period. And that's, that's even in our, our present day, the things, the challenges that we face and the turmoil that we have in our life, God always steps in and he shortens the, the length of the time. He gives a lesson through those challenges and he stops it before it brings destruction to us. If we heed him, we heed God's calling. So um, at this point in our lives, we should prioritize our life over the, our material possessions. And so when I was reading reading that, I was thinking, hmm. So it brought it brought some questions to mind. What are we looking back to that is holding us from going forward in Christ? What in our past that that temporary thrill or joy are we holding on to that's keeping us bound or stuck? not moving forward. What is the thing that we want to bring into our now season that God or Jesus has clearly said, let it go. Forget those things in the past and escape to safety. Escape into your now season, into your your uh, forever joy season, into a life more abundant. What are we in our present day holding on that's keeping us from moving forward? Uh, Apostle Paul speaks to the believers in Philippi. He says, Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press 
sometimes pressing, we have to move those things out of the way that pop back up. You know, we, we feel like we've left them behind, but they pop up in our present. We have to press towards the goal. That pressing sometimes comes with a price. We have to work hard at achieving what Christ has for us. We're going to press towards the higher calling in Christ Jesus. And that means we have to let go of some things, those weights that keep us bound in our present day life. Um, this now that just tied I just pulled that up that tied in with what I was reading, but we have to know that um there's gonna come a time when Jesus is coming back for his church, and we're gonna be judged, and we're gonna be judged on how we lived and and not uh we're gonna be held more accountable than the sinner man because we're supposed to be christ like we're supposed to be winning souls for Christ. We're supposed to be doing the things that God would have us do um, to bring glory to his kingdom. But are we always doing that? Are we always thinking on the things of God? Or are we allowing ourselves to conform to the things of this world? Um, let's see. So our stance should be uh, in the spiritual journey uh, for Christ, that we have to let go of the things that are behind us and press forward. If we trust in God's instructions, it will most definitely save us from a life of destruction. And at the end time, at the end of the day, we'll receive the prize that God has for us, that's eternal life. In closing, we must spiritually prepare for the days ahead. Even in the midst of this chaos, this world is, oh, it's got so much going on in the world. And every time you turn around, you're hearing of a tragedy or something that you would have never thought possible occurring in our world. It's already been spoken of in Revelation. We shouldn't be in awe, you know, that this is happening because we don't know the day or hour, but it's getting closer and closer to Jesus' return. So we must stay focused and continue to trust in God's sovereignty and his promises and, and the promises he's given to the church that he's coming for. And, and God will definitely protect us from what is to come. You know, and he'll shorten it for us too. God bless you all. Um, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Is my prayer for you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for that powerful lesson. I, what stands uh, with me, what resonates with me from what you just taught us. Um, I love the phrase you used, escape into your forever now season. Your forever now season. You would think at first that by putting those two words together that it couldn't happen, right? An eternal present season. And yet through God, after you speak of his judgment, Yes, that is what it is. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Those who have passed and survived the judgment get to enjoy a forever now season where they get to just focus on God and their relationship with God and praise him right along with the angels. Uh, so thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that with us and reminding right. us how to move in the kingdom, how to do so. Thank you so much. Do we have right. any other takeaways for the evening? Right. Okay. Well, I tell you what, we can then move to our key verses. Um, and you just let me know your thoughts about the ones that I chose um, to see if I if I need to make any changes, okay? So that we can be on one accord. So when you were reading, um, I was drawn to verses... 
15 and 16, where it says, so when you see standing in the holy place, the abomination that causes desolation spoken of through the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. And then I've jumped down to verses 26 through 28. And they read, so if anyone tells you, there he is out in the wilderness, do not go out. Or here he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there is a carcass, there the vultures will gather. <laughs> That's a powerful statement right there. It's a powerful statement. Are we comfortable with those verses um, being our key verses for tonight's lesson? Yes, ma'am. Amen, amen. And I will make a note of them. Awesome, awesome. All right. Okay, I'm just going to check the chat and make sure that I have not, or that I have given anyone who might desire to have a chance to participate. Okay, we are clear. Great, great. So I, I just want to make sure we are good. Well, all right then. Well, then I'll go ahead and give the closing prayer. And then we will welcome any new members. Father God in heaven, thank you so much for this woman of God who has led tonight's message. Making sure that we know that when you're with us, when you're in our lives, even though we'll be tested, we will never have to fear the kind of tribulation that those who do not follow you and your teachings, they don't, they don't accept your doctrine, they don't accept that you exist. They will go through so much, Father God. But you have so much love that even during that period, you're going to give some of them a chance to still make it through. They'll have their judgment period, and some of them will be given another chance. And so we're grateful to you for doing that. Sometimes in our lives, people get confused. At first, they loved you, and then they strayed away, whether it was because something in their life happened that was very painful, and they blamed it on you, Father God. Or they asked you why you would let it would let it be so, and they turned away. But you give us all a chance to return, just like the prodigal son. And so we thank you. We're grateful for that. We're grateful for new mercies. We're grace. We're grateful for grace, Father God. We're so grateful to you. And so we repent. We repent right now. We release right now whatever doesn't need to be residing in our temples, we we release it. We release it. No matter what it is, Father God, whether it's doubt, whether it's fear, whether it's anxiety, whether it's disbelief, whether it's anger, Father God, we release it. We release it, Father God. We send it into an abyss. In your precious Son, Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Ooh, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Father God. And thank you again, Sister Jones. Thank you so much for teaching. Praise God. Thank you thank so you. much. Well, all right. I'm just going to go ahead then and welcome. I want to welcome uh, subscriber number 94. Um, I don't know your name and that's okay. Uh, but we don't know many of the members' names who uh, join online with us. Uh, so that's why I'm calling you by your number. Um, uh, but just know that we appreciate your presence. 
Um, and we spend time teaching the word in its truth uh, because we're teaching it through the focus of and the lens of love and of justice and of light. And we run away from oppression, the word as an, an, an oppressive text. Uh, we don't try to suppress people with the text. We try to uplift through the text. So you're in a safe place with us in this ministry. Um, and so we welcome you. Um, and if you needed to reach out to me or any of the other ministers, you can do so by pressing on the About Us tab, and it will let you, it will take you to our email page. Also, um, if you like to write down notes for your Bible study and your daily devotions, we um, are selling journals online um, for the, um, the end of this year, all the way to the end of this year, we'll be studying from the book of Matthew. So we're using the book of Matthew journal for our notes, but there are 33 other journals on our Amazon site as well. If you would uh, like to make that purchase for uh, just $9.99 plus shipping and handling, and then $3.50 comes back to the ministry uh, so that we can be of service. Um, and so we thank you in advance for that. Also, we have a new online mini course. You can click on our Dignity Hall tab and um, you can either click on the link here or you can scan the QR code. Um, it is called Wealth Whispering and it has 15 different ways or categories to build wealth. Um, and so if you're interested in knowing how to not only put more um, money in your pocket, but more money in your different accounts, whether it's checking, whether it's savings, whether it's certificates of deposit, uh, whether it is purchasing whole life insurance, whatever, there are 15 different categories of wealth and we expose them to you. You're not sold anything in the class. It's just to expose you. That's part of our ministry to expose those to um, resources for education, employment, entrepreneurship, and civic engagement. And so this class is $49. You don't have to follow a professor. You just go in, acknowledge to yourself what money habits you already know about or resources you already know about, and then decide where you'd like to start for building more wealth for yourself. Um, so that's our class, Wealth Whispering. Um, and so also, um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Spread the word because it allows us to evangelize um, and to affect the algorithm uh, that YouTube has so that we can reach even more subscribers. Um, so thank you so much for your time. Um, I know that you'll be blessed once you hear Sister Jones's message of hope and of how to shorten tribulation. Well, I'm Dr. Dainty Jones, apostle of the House that Dignity Built Ministries. Blessings, blessings, blessings.